Hey everyone, it's Chris. I just want to pop on and say hi. It's been a little bit. Um, I'm going, you can see my messy craft room, but I'm going to show you my really messy craft room. Um, let me, I had to turn off my monitors because I am on break from lunch, uh, on lunch from work and I work with HIPAA information. So I had to make sure that was protected. I want to show you my messy room. I've been making cards for one nursing home and I do it every month. I make cards for them and I've got January and February made now. I'm just waiting until December and I'll get a new list of names and cause I hand address everyone. But somebody told me of another nursing home. There's so many nursing homes, but another nursing home that had 108 beds and they needed Christmas cards. So <laughs> This is my messy desk. So I started making them Christmas cards and I'm gonna take you over here. <clears throat> Some things I've seen other YouTubers use and I purchased is an AGT gun. So it holds a huge roll of tape because I go through tape like crazy. And this one, two, three punch board has been a savior because I'm making these cards from scratch. I don't have envelopes. So this board has helped me make all these envelopes. So what I did last night was I got 12 by 12 paper and I cut it down in here. I'm making a four, a four by five and a half inch card. So it tells me I need my piece of paper to be an eight inch square. So I cut my paper down to eight inch squares and I kind of strategically cut the paper. So then I had all these little leftover pieces. So I used those in making the cards and on this tray, Sorry, I have to hold the phone while I do this. I have the leftovers, so I kind of matched them up already. So this was the corner of one of those pieces. And here was another corner piece that I, so one long strip I could cut into two pieces. So like this one and this one. And I just took cardstock and I took an eight, and a half by 11 piece and I could get two cards out of it. So by cutting it, I scored it lengthwise first and then I cut it in half with my scoring tool. So this is how you make the envelope. Let's see, I can show you. I don't know if I can show you. Let's try. <clears throat> so and this tool comes with its own little score tool. And on this guide over here, if you can see, four and a half by five, it tells me right here, I want to line it up at three and a half. So over here, I line that up at three and a half. And then I will score here. And I will hit the punch. So that punches the spot and you can see the score. So then you line it up over here and this score mark will line right up in this score one and it just kind of fits in there. And then I'm just gonna score this side. Sorry. And then I will punch this side. And then you just keep rotating it. Once you do that first one by the mark it tells you to, it all lines right up. I scored that one. Sorry, this is not very good. I'm not set up to do tutorials or anything. And so here you have it. And so then I fold these pieces in here and here. And I can use the, they call it a bone folder. They're not made out of bone anymore, but in the old days they were. That's how they got their name. They used to be made out of bones so now I can just fold these in, put a little glue on these sides, 
fold this up and then I have my envelope. And then to seal it, I do have a glue I can use to seal it, but since I'm not mailing them, I won't actually do that. And then these cards, I will pick ones that match the envelopes with the designs. Um, but I'm not mailing them, so I'm not worried about that. And I'll show you some of these other ones. You see all these trays? These are actually medical trays that are used in doctor's offices or facilities where they do procedures. And I think they put the tools on them before they're being used. And my sister had a ton of them from her husband's office, so she sent them to me. But these are some cards that I made. These are January cards going out, and I put a stamp in them. And some you can read that stamp is not very good. It says, keep a green tree in your heart, and perhaps a singing bird will come. But this one says, nature is imagination itself. But this is just a leaf. I believe this was a wild geranium leaf I had. And I brought the leaf in, and I inked it with just a regular old ink pad. Just pounced it on there. Put the leaf down here, and then I just rubbed it. I actually had a, a one of my cutting die cutting machine plates. I just put it over it, pressed down on it. And then I made a ton of these. That's what most of these are. Like this is a different type of leaf. And I used different colored inks, different leaves. Those are all, the January ones are all of the leaf imprints that I made. And then like this one, I did it, but then I cut it out. That one I actually embossed. And then all of their February cards, I made slimline cards, which fit in a legal envelope. This one I stamped and colored with pencils, and they all say Happy Valentine's Day. They're all stamped with different things, but they're all what cards I made. Like this one is just scrap paper, and I put some ribbon, glued some ribbon on it. So that's those. This is my messy setup of my stamps and my embossing things. And these are my inks. And then this is just my work in progress. Yes, this is my messy. But when I sit here, everything's right here on my right side. My watercolors, my cutting machines, my extra paper, which I need to put away. And my niece hates my mess. And I do too. But it works for me right now. And I can get the cards made. So I have to i um, currently making 108 cards for this other nursing home. And I think those envelopes are really cool. I really like that tool. I think the envelopes are pretty awesome. I have a bigger cutting board. It's down there. I don't know if you can see it. Scoreboard. That does give me the same numbers and stuff as this little punch board does. But I find the punch board much easier. I do still use that big one for the uh, scoring of my cards when I make the cards and before I divvy them up and all that. So I just wanted to say hello and show you that. I got all those cards made. I am uh, taking my mom and her kitty cat to Florida next week. So I will be MIA from everything next week. But... Hopefully, safe travels and I don't catch anything. The numbers here in my county in New York State are climbing, which is scary. But I don't go anywhere, really. I do have to go to work twice a week, every third week, just to do mail, and then I come right home. I don't really go to the stores. I don't go anywhere. I don't do anything. My husband goes to the grocery store. I don't go. Because if I went, I wouldn't buy the stuff he wants. So he goes. Um, so I just, I hibernate. So I'm hoping wearing an N95 mask while I travel will keep me protected, keep me safe. So I don't catch anything that just does scare me. And then I will quarantine when I get home for two weeks because that's my state rule. That or I have to get a COVID test the day I get back and then three days later. And I do not want to do the test because I don't want somebody sticking a Q-tip to my brain. 
So I will just quarantine. If I should come down with symptoms, then I'll go get a test. But until then, I'm just going to quarantine. I'll hide up here in my area. And my husband will stay in his. We sleep in separate bedrooms anyways. Because otherwise, I'd still be on Ambien. Because I wouldn't be able to sleep with his snoring. So, And he doesn't like it that I then play music or other things really loud to kill his snoring. So that I could go back to sleep. So it's just easier. He sleeps in one room. I sleep in the other room. And that just works that way. So, all right. I hope you like my little video. I haven't crocheted lately. I do need to. I, I did start something. I want to say it was one of Seta's tops, but right now I can't even remember what it was I started, but it is downstairs. That's my problem. If I start something and I don't finish it right away, I forget what it was, what the hook size was, where the pattern is, and then I'm just doomed. I have to start all over, so. But I haven't done any other watercolor painting lately. I think I showed you all my last ones. I'll show you again real quick here. But I think I showed you these. This one was of Beatrice Reed's um, picture. I think most of you know her on Facebook. This one, I think I showed these, but I want to do some more. My niece wanted uh, a, a landscape scene. So this was my attempt at doing that. And I had kept changing it. And that one. This is the same version of these. So these cards here, I will end up. Those ones are on crappier paper. This is a nicer paper. So this one should get framed or something. But it's not quite right. I might try playing with it more. Same with this one. It's supposed to be similar scene. They're just not... I was working on my depth trying to make that look farther away. That one. I tried to do a nighttime scene. It's okay. This I painted the background but I stamped these trees on there. And same with that one. Just trying to get a different look. So that's what I've been up to. I need to get painting more. Oh, and I, my art class is done. I'm done drawing. All that stuff is downstairs. I can't show you any of that. But I do need to um, practice drawing more. I think I am going to take a sketch pad and probably a regular pencil, not a graphite or not a charcoal pencil with me when I travel. So that will be my, that and crochet. So when I'm in the airports and whatnot, especially when I come back by myself, I have something to do because... Southwest sucks and they did away with my direct flight. I had my tickets booked for January and they right after I booked them they sent me email, email saying they changed my flight so I canceled my flight. I'm not going down in January because I can't get a direct flight and I will not fly anywhere in in the winter time because too many flights get canceled and delayed and I don't want to get stuck somewhere. So I won't travel now. So this is my one time going to Florida and I'll only be there two days, but I'm okay with that. So, all right. Take care, everybody. I'll talk with you later. Bye.